From the heavens, hey, here it is. Snow this morning in the backyard here on the back stoop at the TV station. About 25 degrees at 648 and a half. Good morning, Jeff Roper in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. You can see what's happening along I-15 there. We've been scraping the roads. Snow uh, this morning for the kids at the bus stop at about 7. It'll be 21 degrees, so that may freeze on the windshield. And we've got some low clouds and some fog that has inserted itself into the valley this morning. It's going to be about 27 at lunchtime. We'll peak it to 31 degrees for the afternoon. Here's your question of the day. Tell us about your first car. 534-9957. Not how many wheels it had, but uh, we want to see a picture of it, OK? Uh, if, you, if you're running on three wheels this morning, you and your spider, good luck with that. Uh, we do have snow showers into the southeastern highlands for the rest of the morning around here once we get this swath of snow through here. And the word I was looking for earlier was grapple. That is German for small hail. And that's sometimes what you see as well when the atmosphere is trying to figure out what season it is. We know it's wintertime around here. There'll be some clearing later on with some sun trying to poke through and we're going to get to about freezing today. We have more snow chances in the forecast as we head toward the back end of the week for Island Park and into West Yellowstone. Friday, Saturday, Sunday looks like there may be some snow around. We get into uh, Sunday around here into Idaho Falls and Pocatello and that's when we see a pretty good chance of some snow still rebounding and lingering on into Monday. It's 26 in Idaho Falls. It feels like it's about 19 with that little bit of a breeze at six miles an hour. Live Viper radar this morning showing deepening snows there along 84, 86 and into that uh, triangle zone there before you get to the coast of Idaho. We've seen some heavier flakes this morning, but not as heavy as it was yesterday. This is just the last little push of an attached trough that has come along with that front. Now, high pressure is going to build into our afternoon around here, and there'll be a little bit of disturbance that will upset things uh, with a ridge into Island Park and into West Yellowstone for tomorrow but really the next big chance of any kind of precip around here, which is nice to have, uh, will be on into Sunday. So we begin with clouds, fog, and some snow this morning, clearing later. Most everyone will be right around at freezing for the afternoon. It'll be in the mid-20s into Moose and Jackson Hole and around 32 in Island Park. Did I tell you about the crazy uh, critter cam video that I got? I, know. I'm gonna, I want you to be here tomorrow morning. I'll Ooh. show it. So make sure you're watching tomorrow morning. I've got some incredible uh, large mammal critter cam video to show you in the morning from our friends in, in Island Park. So here we go with the Viper cast for the day today. You begin to see some clearing along the I-15 corridor into 7 o'clock. We'll get into Wednesday and uh, uh, Wednesday midday, and that's where we see the remnants of uh, whatever's left uh, just kind of poking around. The sun yeah, and moon will clear out here. We had a, a snow moon into the overnight hours, so if your children are acting crazy or your husband has lost it, that could have happened years ago. Uh, it, it's because of that. Uh, we will see some cloudiness begin to break again tomorrow evening, and there's that other little ridge that's riding the bubble of high pressure. The winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, maybe even more into Mackey by lunchtime and into the southeastern highlands with some blowing uh, snow left over from this last little push from the north. And then we'll see 10 to 15, uh, 20 mile an hour winds into tomorrow, the highlighted areas with the most potential for gusts. So we're right around freezing for the rest of the afternoon. Clouds break for sun later. Blackfoot, you got about 32 on the board and we'll hover around that between tomorrow and into Friday and then we warm up and storm up with a snow chance on into Sunday. Can you handle it? Say yes. Sir. 33 and uh, snowing in salmon a possibility from the overnight hours. It'll be 11 tonight. Then we'll be in the lower 40s for Friday and Saturday. A 40% chance of showers into uh, the back end of the weekend. Rexburg 29. Just a slight shower chance pushing things around there. We're still in the teens overnight so it is cold. That high pressure does roll in here and take us into single digits in Jackson after that last little bit of snow pushes around this morning and good snow chances into Sunday back around freezing. Pocatello with some wintry weather to start with and 33 will be pushing 40 degrees by Saturday and then a 40% chance of showers into Sunday. There's Idaho Falls and the North Gate Mile right there, Yellowstone, North Yellowstone. Let's go to High Sea. Let's hop into Tub. It'll be 33. We got that morning snow around here and some maybe some sun poking around a little bit later on. Snow chances into the weekend. Y'all send me a picture. Jeff.roper at localnews8.com. Here's Emma. All right, thanks, Jeff. It's now 6.15.